Australia's star athletes compete in an interstate carnival at the Sydney Athletic Field, a two-day meeting in which ten records are toppled. The athletes are really on their toes with the Tokyo Olympic Games coming up later in the year. There's a crowd of more than 5,000. No, this isn't a kind of out-of-doors twist. It's the men's 3,000 metres walk, a race between New South Wales and Victoria, and it's a pretty hot field. There's the Australian champion Crawford and Victoria's Freeman, a silver medalist at the Rome Games. Coming into the final lap, and Crawford is in front narrowly from Allsop of Victoria with Clark of New South Wales third. And that's the way they finish. Crawford takes the title by two seconds. The 400 metres hurdles. The field includes Victorian Ken Roach, who's already broken the New South Wales 400 metres flat record at the meeting. So the pace is really on. The final lap and Roach is clear. Keep your eye on the leader because there's a new Australian national record coming up. It's Roach of Victoria first in 50.7 seconds. Not New South Wales second and Devlin of Victoria third. Competition's keen among the women, too. The final lap of the 400 metres with Gardner just leading. But watch Dixie Willis with a magnificent finish. In 54.5 seconds, she betters the standard for the Olympics by one second. Betty Cuthbert finished third. Now a real thriller, the men's 100 metres. Australia's top sprinters with only inches between them. And Bob Lay leads from the start to equal the state record of 10.4 seconds. A great win from Holdsworth of Victoria and Vassella of New South Wales. The big race of the day, the men's 5,000 metres. It's expected to provide a great deal between Ron Clark and Olby Thomas. And that's just how it is. It's only a field of six, and they're pretty tightly bunched. Clark, Thomas and Tony Cook are together in the middle stages of the race, though Thomas is hampered by a blistered foot from the two-mile mark. In the final lap, Clark really begins to stretch out. Thomas has beaten off and the Victorian star strings the field right out to topple the Australian national record and win by a clear 25 yards. The Victorian gets a great reception and there are plenty of youngsters after his autograph. It's a good win on a day of records. A day to raise money to send Australia's athletes to Tokyo for the Olympic Games of 64.